back now to a developing story uh, over these uh, fee protests at uh, UKZN where police and students have clashed at uh, the University of KwaZulu-Natal's Peter Maritzburg campus. A short while ago, one student was injured in these clashes. Let's get an update now on the situation from our reporters in Piwe Makanyane. In Piwe, good afternoon to you. Pandemonium there. What exactly uh, started this? And give us an update on the situation there. Good afternoon to you, Natasha, and to the viewers at home. Well, pandemonium is actually all over the PMB campus of the University of KwaZulu Natal. A group of students has uh, scattered all over the campus, demanding that some of their colleagues who are actually uh, in that van there, who are arrested just now, be released. The students were throwing stones at police, and also you can see the police were resisting firing rubber bullets. As you have rightly put it, a one student, female student, was shot during this protest, and she was sent in, in hospital. She's recovering there. The situation is actually chaotic at the PMP campus. I'm just going to let the, my cameraman show you the commotion that is happening between the police and the students. Well, police have actually uh, been scattered all over the campus as well as students because students are now entering different campuses demanding that their colleagues be uh, released who are actually arrested now. We don't know how many of them are arrested but it would seem that uh, it's quite a number of them because the students are actually very angry uh, trying to confront the police demanding that they be removed from this campus as well as the security personnel that is all over the campus of Piramarisbeck following the the, the incident where a student was shot and um, uh, injured, but the student is since uh, been taken to hospital and she's recovering there. I might have, I might have missed this uh, just listening to you, but just take us back to that uh, incident where the student was shot. What exactly sparked these, uh, th these clashes between the police and the students? <laughs> At this point, we don't have the uh, exact details, Natasha, of what uh, actually sparked uh, the, 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 the incident w which led to the student being shot. But what we have been told by some of the students is that the student who was shot was actually not on campus. He, she was uh, at one of the residences of the PMP campus. That is where the incident actually occurred. All right, Simpiwe, and it seems as though uh, the, the students will continue to, uh, to be on campus there. Um, is there any indication that the police are starting to move off or that the students are starting to move off? Certainly not, Natasha. From what we are seeing, the police are actually all over the Piramarisbeck campus because I can tell you that the main road which actually enters into the campus has been closed by police. So no one is allowed in and no one is, is, is actually al are allowed out of, 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 of the Piramarisbeck campus. Uh, I don't know if I can uh, just show you what, the, what is happening over there. Police uh, with their shields uh, firing rubber bullets. Uh, as you can see, a group of students is just running uh, as I speak to you now because police are actually pointing their uh, guns at them uh, and some of them have been throwing stones at police which is actually making the situation even worse but we will continue to give you live updates from the Piramaspe campus of the University of KwaZulu Natal. Yes, thank you very much Sankiwe Makanyane right in the heart of those clashes there uh, reporting live from the Peter Maritzburg campus of the UKZN.